I expect uh, a very tough game. Uh, Romanian defense is very aggressive. They are physically strong. They have good goalkeepers. Um, so um, it's gonna it, it's gonna take the absolute best of us and maybe a little more uh, to score the goals. Um, we uh, for sure we cannot start fighting with them one against one. Uh, we need to outsmart them. Uh, we need to be moving very good without the ball, um, and uh, then we can uh, play to the to the open chances. So uh, it's gonna be very tough. They have a very strong defense. chance to lose so maybe we can call it 50-50. Um, if we know if we hit our our top level uh, we can beat Romania. Um, but this far in the championship we can win and lose to all nations um, but it will be a huge success and a huge step for us to uh, to progress to the quarter final and we will do everything in our hand to, to take this, this step. Ah, oh, we will see. I have my plan, but uh, the plan is still that um, when we play these tough teams, we need to substitute, we need all players to participate. When you go in, you need to go in and give something to your team. And um, that's still gonna be the plan tomorrow, that we will play with a lot of players and uh, we need to we need to keep the players fresh, as fresh as possible. Um, some of the players are using a lot of energy in the defense, some of them in the offense. Um, so uh, we have to mix it a lot, um, but everyone is ready, everyone feels good. And um, we have had a nice camp, uh, playing five, five good games. And uh, now it's business, now it's time. We have waited for this. We have come to here with no injuries and we have had some good games and we have had some bad games. But I also said before the championship that we're going to have these games. We cannot expect to have five good games, five times 60 minutes. That's impossible. So um, we got through the group, I think, very good. I think we belong to be here. And, um, we deserve to be here and um, tomorrow, let's see. I'm always satisfied with the players. They have good days and they have not so good days. Um, the most important, they tried the best. And I can't demand more out of them. Uh, if they don't try the best, then I'm not satisfied. They try the best. And <coughs> yesterday against Norway, Norway was just a little bit sharper than us. But we gave them a, a game, a hell of a game. And we were hurting in two minute suspensions in the beginning of the second half where they went away and from 14-12 to, uh, to five goal lead. We had two two minute suspensions in a row and we can't afford to have too many of them. We must stop with uh, too many of the two minute suspensions because they, uh, they hurt us on this level. absolutely not fair. Um, there's no pressure from our side. Kinga is doing her job here. Kinga is um, the playmaker and the playmaker's job is to set up the, the, the game to, uh, to try as good as possible to, to hold focus on the tactic we have made and to make sure that the left and the right back and the rest of the teams get set up for good situations. So Kinga has never scored a lot of goals for us she has a different role here, so uh, her role yesterday when she was on the field was fine. I don't look at goals, I know some other people only look at if, if you have goals, you have a good game. Uh, I'm not like that and I know how she's working. She has taken a very brave step, um, moving to one of the absolute top teams in the world. And just to do that proves that she really want to develop. 
But to move to a, such a good team, it takes time, maybe half a year, maybe a year to get settled. And Kinga is already getting settled on one of the best defenses in the world. 60 minutes, she has a huge role there. She plays 10 to 30 minutes of offense every game. Um, she has, in my opinion, had a huge success, but it needs time. We cannot just demand her and, and expect her to, to score 10 goals like she did in the Polish League. There's huge difference in Champions League and the Polish League. And uh, I think sometimes people are forgetting that. Um, Kinga took a choice that she needs to move away to develop as a handball player as an, and as a person. And I really admire her choice. I think it's a good choice. It's a brave choice. And I think that um, people should be more supportive uh, and have patience and say good job that you at least have the nerve to, to go among the best. Um, so uh, I'm very proud of her and uh, she will settle and do good, I have no doubt. It's always nice when our colleagues uh, say nice things about us uh, because that means that they count. They don't have to say these things. It's not necessary. Uh, I don't ask uh, to say it. So uh, we are of course proud of the work we have done so far, uh, all of us. And just to, uh, to get a little clap on the shoulders from the other coaches, just gives us more motivation to keep uh, working forward. Um, especially when it comes from our colleagues that has been in the game for a very long time and know what they're talking about. So um, we know we can win against most of the teams here, but uh, who, is, who is making the final call tomorrow? Uh, who is making the decision tomorrow? Romania, us, we don't know. And this is what I like, that this is unpredictable and uh, it's exciting and it's a very exciting championship.